Hi, this is Greg in Pensacola, Florida. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a Kickstarter preview and we're going to take a look at the Thunder Chrome 2 3D printable sci-fi scenery from War Games campaign. I received an email from Matthias about uh, one of the creators of this campaign about a week and a half ago and he asked me if I had uh, seen the campaign at all. And actually I was a all-in backer for their highest pledge already on this campaign. So I let him know that hey, I was already a backer on there and he said he had a few files ready to go and uh, if I'd like to uh, take a look at them so I said sure and he sent them to me and I took a look and it looked really good and I said hey let me uh, see if I can get some of this stuff printed out I was finishing up with the terrain for print video and I said once I get done with that I think I can crank through a few of the pieces that you got and uh, put them up onto my channel so people that have not seen this campaign yet can definitely take a look at what's on the table in front of me and I'll post links to the website, the Kickstarter campaign, and um, some other pictures from the campaign itself and I'll flash those up on the screen as we talk. But uh, what we got here on this campaign is a full set of modular furniture. And so what I have in front of me is just very few pieces off the initial pledge and I've printed them out and what's nice with this terrain right off the bat if you look it all prints flat on your print bed so you don't have to print buildings that are going up in the air so all these pieces can all click together and so I have some samples on here I'm gonna pick up and show you but the uh, the first thing I just wanted to do is just kind of go through what's in front of me here on the floor I mean not on the floor but on the table so if you take a look you know over here in this corner up here we have our roof section so this is just one of the, the standard small roofs on here, and there's gonna be multiple different types of roofs. And so if you look at the bottom, there's something that's current with all the terrain you got on here are the way that these items lock on. So, you know, this roof has the option of sitting on different types of uh, posts and things like that. And so on top of the buildings, when you put it down on there, those are your interlocks that'll go in there. So I printed out a couple of those. I just want you to get a good look at the detail on these, these are really, really good. They don't take too long to print either, you know, compared to like printing the whole building at a time. So you can kind of plan out a little bit. I just, you know, did a couple things of, you know, each one just through two, three of each piece up onto the screen. Then you have your wall sections. So, you know, these are what's gonna go on like on this building right here. So this right here is your door section. And if you notice on the bottom, it has these locking tabs. And these tabs are what go into, you know, the, uh, this is a long floor piece, but they, that's what they go down into. So they sit down into that. So this is an open door. And at the end of the video, I've got like 25 screenshots from the campaign that show all the stretch goals because the stretch goal pictures are in the comments. They're not necessarily on the front page. The campaign's doing super well right now. So it's already funded. It's gonna end this Friday. So today is the, uh, the 25th. So the campaign is going to end on Friday, June 30th, 2017. Um, if you're watching after this, there may be a way to get on a late backer pledge. But like I said, this is just a preview video. I'll have a full video showing off all the train and a bunch of it set up once the uh, files are delivered to the backers because you know I'm still part of the campaign. This right here is a wall with an AC unit on it. So I just wanna, you take a look at that. And again, so you've got these slots, you know, you got these grooves and things like that. So you got a groove and a tab on each one of these. And that's how they lock together going around the building itself. And so that's what this is right here. This is just to give you an idea of how, you know, a floor section, the door, and the AC and then you see these tabs right here on top is where the roof will sit on top and so when it's all put together one of the small buildings you know looks like this I'm going gingerly on here because one of the things with the campaign is they have breakable walls so just like this piece right here you see this part this part will come I can take it off there we go and slide it up and so you have breakable walls that you can use on your terrain so this gives more line of sight coming in, uh, firing points going out. You know, if you're playing with structures or something like that that has hit points that you can go ahead and degrade the structure as you're playing and it just snaps right back in, you know. You gotta do a little, little wiggling to get it out. 
but yeah you just bring it right down the rail and just put it right back in and there you go um so they have breakable walls they also have sliding doors uh that's not this is not part of what i have here right now but they have sliding doors also and so then I emailed Matias and asked him, said, hey, can I get a couple of the longer pieces, you know, just so I have some building variety. And so that's what this is right here. It's some different textures. So again, it's got a closed door and it's going to have a version with a sliding door. I believe I see in one of the upper plate, upper stretch goals. It's got the windows on the back and then it's got two sidewalls. And these sidewalls right here are solid. I made them so they don't break out. And then it's got your roof. And there's going to be different types of roofs. There's going to be different things you can do with the roofs. But, so if you take a look, you know, there's the bottom of the roof. There's the top of the roof. And then inside, you know, there's plenty of room in here for your figures. So if you're an, if you're an Infinity player, this campaign is a no-brainer. Hands down, this just screams Infinity. But if you're 40K, this is going on my 40K table. It's going to go on my 40K Armageddon, not Armageddon, Shadow War table. You know, so, um, and uh, for stuff like that. So it's completely modular. Um, this is what one of your typical, your basic floors looks like. And that's the floor that's on both these buildings over here on there. So it's just, you know, I think it's a four by four. If, Look, yeah, so that's four inches by four inches to give you kind of a footprint. Uh, he's got ladders also. So these ladders, and I'll show you in just a minute, I'll reconfigure one of these buildings right here, one of these ladders. Um, again, here's one of the longer, longer walls. And every piece that you see right here, with the exception of the breakable walls, is part of the basic pledge level. So even if you go in at the cheapest, you know, which is the... Uh, I believe this is all out of the Archon Pledge, so this is about $22 US that if you pledge on this. But the except, I think everything with the exception of the broken walls, or you may do get the broken walls too, but definitely read over the campaign if you're going to pledge on there. But this is just a sample of what's coming off the minimum pledge. The stuff that's coming off the later pledges, the stuff that adds on to this, and what's been unlocked on the stretch goals right now is absolutely fantastic. And so then this building right here is similar to the other one. It's got the door and it has the windows in the back, but I put the broken walls in on this one. So if this is on the game table, you know, if you got the cover off, you've got firing points going from the back windows, and then you also have firing points and ingress, you know, points where you can get into the building and out of the building from the sides too. So that's really nice on a game that has true line of sight because then you know you can shoot into this building and not necessarily from you know just shooting into the windows and stuff like that and again the cap just puts right onto the side not the cap the the roof just goes right onto the top and there you go um these are what the solid walls look like all right so modifications on there so one of the things you can do with this if you look right here let me just move these bigger pieces forward is that you can take this roof off the top you can grab a small roof I mean a small floor piece right here and that you could actually put it right there and then you could grab another building like that and put it right on top so now you see we're starting to build how do we get up there well I can drop a ladder right here you know so you've got it either you know RPG infinity 40k now you're going to start stacking. So you might have buildings coming this way and you might have things stacking up this way. That's where the great thing about this set is going to be. It's in its modularity. And when you get the full campaign set on, you know, if you do the, what's the high end, the highest pledge is the Mega City 1 pledge. It's going to be crazy. The amount of modular pieces that you're going to have and the unique look that you're gonna be able to bring to your table, you know, every game session if you want. So that, that's an, a thought right there. You can also um, take these apart and make these double wide on there. So I'm gonna do that really quick. It takes a little bit for me to, to just to take this apart. So I'll just flash over to the new, if this takes too long, I'll just cut and do it. But that I'll put these here like this 
like I said, you got the grooves that go into the grooves here. And this one will snap there. This is another one that'll come down here. That'll snap in there and this will come down there. So just like that, that actually went a little quicker than I thought it was going to. Because usually when I try to do this live on camera, something always slows me down. Um, so here you are with a double size box right now on there. And you see, this, this is solid. I mean, you could pre-build this and take it to your game night and stuff like that. And one of the stretch goals right now, I believe, is the interior walls. So you could actually put a wall right, right here on there. So, and then there's going to be long pieces that have breakout that you can destroy also that'll have the destroyable pieces in there. So this is really nice. So again, you can take that and then you can either just set your, your roofs on top like this, you know, if you like that. Or you can do some more modularity again. And I'm going to put that up there. And then I'll take this. I'll put the door like that. And then I can take a ladder and I can put one over, I don't wanna put it in front of the door, put one there and I could put one here also. So um, there's no center line support yet, but when you get those interior walls in, that's gonna add a little bit of center line support there, but still nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna, I mean, I'm hitting it like that, it's not gonna tip over. So with the addition of those interior walls, you'll get some more support along the center. But this just gives you an idea how long did that take? Three minutes, you know? And I was able to take it from a, we're just gonna call it a single wide, and change it to a double wide, two story, you know, with another feature on top. And it just doesn't end here. There's all kinds of different roofs and things like that. You know, so it, you know, you could go higher with this, and you know, you could do a lot of different options on there. But, so, we do, I wanted to get this in front of my viewers, for Matias, and like I'm a full backer, just like you would be if you're on there. I didn't get any of this stuff for free. And, um, you know, we'll go from, uh, we'll talk about the review video with them when all the uh, files come out and things like that. And there's also new skins. So in addition to the basic pledges, there are a few add-ons that he's done. And one of the most recent ones is a Gothic skin and Oh, I forget what the other one is, but there'll be a picture of it on there. I just saw Gothic and I'm like, yes, 40K, we got a Gothic skin, I'm on it. So I added that add-on also. And um, so what that's gonna do is gonna give you additional pieces with new skins up front, kind of themed, you know, in that Gothic style. And it's, I wanna say it's almost kind of an Egyptian style. I'll pop it up here on the screen, what the actual picture looks like and uh, you can kind of go from there but so the the you know some of the features it's all modular on here and i mean this stuff looks good you know this was printed out of maker gear m2 this is maker gear filament the gray and the green that they sell uh it's all printed this is 0.2 millimeter so this is 200 micron you know print on here and that's what i do all my terrain in and it's solid it's not you know these pieces are thin on here so it it doesn't use a ton of filament you know so it's the the price for this building you know to print is i don't want to say it's it's inexpensive uh because the building definitely does not look cheap you know so um that's kind of where we're at with it i'm gonna now what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to take all those pictures there's like 25 26 pictures because a lot of the stretch goal pictures are in the comments like i said they're not on the front page so I'm just gonna let those roll at the end. And please, if you're thinking about jumping on this campaign, take a look at what here's on, you know, what is on the table. I threw this together. This is four days of printing, maybe. Yeah, it printed, you know, my printer was going quite a long time the whole time, but I was able to churn this out, you know, 
within three, four days, you know, and this, what I have on the table, if I put all the pieces together on here is plenty. If I was doing a sci-fi RPG session or maybe a little small skirmish game or something like that on there. But I'm telling you, when you get this full pledge from this campaign and get it on your table and get your figures out there, infinity 40 K, whatever sci-fi game it is that you like to play or RPG in, it's going to look fantastic. It's definitely going to catch some eyes and draw them over to your table. So that's the great thing about 3D printing. And 3D printing terrain is just the variety we've got out there now. And these guys, you know, they really, they really killed it in there. So I asked a few developer questions, you know, to them as they were going, you know, as they were uh, to Matthias, you know. So I asked, uh, you know, who's part of the team? Because uh, sometimes you don't know if it's one guy, two guys. And he said that uh, Thunder Chrome is uh, ba- David Martinez and... Matthias, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce the last name because I'm going to butcher it. Uh, both war gamers and role players since the dawn of time, and after years of scratch building, they've fallen for 3D printing, and now they decided to offer a range of 3D scenery that really hasn't been seen before. And that's true. You know, this is completely unique. You know, and everybody's got their style, so it's nice to see war layer. You know, Andrew has his style. Uh, Marcus has his style from Terrain for Print, and now. Uh, David and Matthias definitely have their own style, you know, and will have their area in the sci-fi section also. Uh, you know, and then you, we asked them about where the style for this design came from. Uh, they've been fans of sci-fi forever. They, uh, movie influences, you know, from the Aliens franchise, anime like Ghost in the Shell. And they also have, they like the uh, literary field, the Foundation Trilogy by Asimov and many other sources is where their inspiration came from for their designs. You know, I asked, you know, this is their second Kickstarter. I did not see their first Kickstarter. And um, I got a link to this Kickstarter from one of my viewers is how I found out about this one. You know, so he said his first Kickstarter was just a let's see if we can do it. They said people seem to like the models and the style. And for the second Kickstarter, we've tried to improve in every possible aspect from the visual look of the campaign to the models, and it's really surpassed our expectations. And these stretch goals are dropping like flies right now. We're coming into this last week of the Kickstarter, and you can see we're getting emails every day. Backers are finding it. They're getting the add-ons on there. So they, the stretch goals and the value for what you're getting for your money is really, it's really, really good right now. And... Um, and then he said, you know, he, he'd just like to let my viewers know that they do this uh, from the deepest part of their hearts and souls. We'd love to see how our backers print and play with our models and how they find it useful. We both have regular day jobs, just like I do. And we do this for sheer love, and there's no better reward than see people excited every time a new stretch goal is broken, so keep playing. And that's true, you know, this stuff looks it looks fantastic right here you know when the full campaign comes in because i'm doing this with z1 on the final video for him is going to be out in my main room on the game table with that table full of terrain i think i'll do the same thing here we'll talk to matthias and see you know what we can work out on that i'm going to do the same thing for war layer so you're going to take from this little snapshot of a picture and to a nice big video of it on the game table you know all laid out so Again, stick around for about another three minutes. You're going to see a pictures of all the stretch goals. And if you like this, go ahead and jump over on that Thunder Chrome campaign. Leave a note in the comments that this video brought you there. And uh, this is great stuff. So I highly, you know, the proof's right here in front of you, how it looks printed out. So again, this is Greg. And if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. My channel is pretty much focusing on 3D wargaming terrain nowadays. And uh, I've got a lot of great designers that have jumped on that like showing off their stuff. And I've got some new designers coming up that have also wanted to get in. And uh, uh, right now I'm cranking through a bunch of Z1 designs for the Precinct 187 Kickstarter. So in between then I've got a, uh, a smaller Kickstarter from a guy that's doing some D, uh, dungeon tiles. And I've got a 3D printer review from a new printer that I put in my office that'll kind of fill some time for the Z1 prints because the Z1 prints are going to take about two, three weeks to get that done. But in the meantime, go to this Kickstarter page, 
hang out for about another two, three minutes, look at the stretch goal pictures and the add-on pictures. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, share it out. And I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.